Hi guys, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create your own miniature photo manipulation effect and hit the subscribe button so we can get started with this tutorial. To make it easier for Photoshop to take off the background, I'm going to pick up my lasso tool and I'm going to just go ahead and cut around my subjects just like that. And I'm going to right click and make a copy. I'm going to go ahead to turn off the original. I don't need it so I can go ahead and delete it. So now I want to cut out the background. So I'm going to click on my image, go under my property and then go to quick action, remove background. Just click on that. And you notice that Photoshop does a very good job cutting out the background. But obviously my hand is cut out and I need to clean up the bottom of my feet. So to make it easier, I'm going to pick up my lasso tool and I'm just going to go ahead and trace around my leg and then just cut it. So I'm going to zoom in to the arm. Now we need to do a little bit of revealing of my arm on the other side. So I'm going to flip my foreground to white and I'm just going to paint just to reveal this section and I'm going to zoom in. Now this one I have to use a little bit of some paint, some technique to be able to just basically cut around We want to go ahead and drop in a pencil. Obviously, I'm going to draw with a pencil. So I'm going to pull this pencil in. And what I'm going to do is I want to take off the background. Your quick action, remove background, click on that. And let's see what Photoshop does for us. So now you can see that the pencil, the, uh, the background has been taken off. I'm going to zoom in to see uh, it looks like a bit of the pencil was chopped off. So I'm going to go ahead to just eyeball it and draw it right, right in like so. And I'm going to pick up the, I'm going to click on the thumbnail, picking up my brush tool with my foreground as white. White reveals black height, command D, D, select. Now we have our pencil. And I'm going to put my pencil in between my arm. So I'm going to set it right there. Now we will have to finesse it a little to make it much more bigger. So I'm going to hold down my shift or however you want to do it. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead to play with it a couple of times till I get it to the size that I want. I'm going to increase it a little bit more and set it right there. Double click to accept. Now I'm going to move the pencil and set that on the bottom. So I want to cut out just this piece. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of the layer max on my image. So right click on the layer max thumbnail, say apply layer max. Now I'm going to pick up my rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to make a little selection right click make a copy and we are going to move that and set that very close like that and i'm just going to rotate it just a little so it touches like that now obviously we need to get rid of this one so i'm going to highlight this section making sure that i'm on my image layer and i'm just going to paint over command d to d select i'm going to zoom out now it looks like I'm holding a pencil. That's good. And I'm going to go ahead to rotate it a little. So it's a little bit away from me. And I'm going to set that right in the middle like that. I'm going to double click and zoom in to see how it fits. Now I'm going to move this hand and set that right there. And I'm going to go ahead to rotate. I'm going to zoom back in. 
and then I'm just going to get rid of that command D, D select. So we have something like this and it's working. All right. So with the pencil and the body all done, I'm going to go ahead to right click on my pencil, the layer max and apply it. So we don't have any background. Now I'm going to go ahead to match my body and the little arm that I cut off. So that is one piece. If I turn this off, you only have the pencil. So now I want to merge these two so I can move it at the same time. So I'm going to link it. So click on the first layer, hold down shift, click on the second, right click and say link layer. So now when I pick up my move tool, I can move this wherever I want. So now that we have this in place, we want to go ahead and bring in our sketch that we are pretending to be sketching, but it's apparently done by somebody else, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to add a layer max, and then I'm going to pick up my brush tool with my foreground as black. We all know black height, white reveals. I'm going to increase my brush by clicking on my left and right bracket. Now we want to blend in the outline so i'm going to make sure that my flow is at uh, 70 so that i get a good blend so it's not so sharp um, when i'm trimming or when i'm painting over so it's a smooth transition and it's very nice so we have something like this so with this set we want to also add one more element that will make this more realistic are going to use an eraser so i'm going to pull that in so I'm going to change the blend mode of this to multiply. Now multiply basically takes off the white. You only see the image itself. So I'm going to set this right here. Oh, I'm going to scale it just a little. Now we can finish this off by adding a little bit of a shadow effect to the image, uh, meaning my subject and the pencil. So I'm going to click on my image and I'm going to hold down command and make a selection of the thumbnail or control if you are on the windows. Now I'm going to add a new layer to create the shadow. So click on the plus icon, pick up your, um, turn your foreground to black by clicking on the default, pick up your paint bucket, fill that in, command D to D, select. Now pick up your move tool, hold down command or control if you are on the windows. And I'm just going to pull the shadow down and we're just going to take it back like that. We're going to reduce the opacity and we are going to move that layer below my subject layer. And the other thing we want to do is that we want to use our eraser and we want to just erase some areas that don't look realistic. So I'm just going to take this piece off. So you just have the subject. Now we want to go ahead and add a blur effect. So to do that, you want to click on your shadow, go under filter and choose blur, gushing blur. Now we can go ahead and as you can see, it gives you a preview. This looks good. And you can see that already gives you a preview of how much of the blur level that we want. So we're going to keep it at this level. And I'm going to go ahead to click OK. Now we want to do the same thing for the pencil. So click on the pencil, hold down command, make a selection of that and then add a new layer. We want to make sure that layer is moved to the bottom of the pencil layer. And we are going to pick up our paint bucket. We're going to fill that in and I'm going to click on command D to D select. Now you really can't see it because it's on the back side of the pencil, but when I turn off my visibility, you see it. So I'm going to click on my move tool and hold down command. And we are just going to drag this down like that. Now what we are going to do is we want to move this up above the subject layer because the shadow is casting over my leg. Now I'm going to take the opacity down to something like this. And we are going to go to filter. Now just click on Gush and Blair because we already have that effect and it's just going to 
apply the same effect that we had before now if you want to reduce the opacity you can go back and reduce it so it's the same i'm gonna click on shift option command e to make one file now with that layer activated i'm going to go to filter camera raw and i'm going to go ahead to just play with my camera raw different effect to get something very cool and interesting i'm gonna increase the contrast a little or take it back i'm gonna reduce the with my vibrance as well as my saturation i'm gonna go ahead to click ok so please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video bye y'all